Hey. You watch the Bow Round Tree Outdoors. That's right. Me and Captain Buster come to the local lumber yard, Miller Lumber Company here in Camden, and they had a bunch of treated stuff on the uh, on the coal piles. So all the rest of that'll be going into fixings and building any more stands we got to deal with this year. Now that the season opens two weeks earlier and than we're used to. We build them to be taken apart in three pieces. The blind, sit there in the back of Josh's truck. The step ladder, step slash ladder unit where it can be taken off. And then the stand base is six foot high. We take these, uh, this is all scrap pile stuff from local um, lumber yards. This is all taken off scrap piles, all treated lumber splintered, twisted, broke. We take it and build our deer stands out of it. And uh, you see how we put together our steps? Seven inch treated two by four blocks. We just level them up. Two by sixes. We've got uh, eight foot two by sixes as the step runners. 16 inches apart here, steps. We bolt in the treated seven inch pieces of uh, two by four in between our uh, eight foot two by sixes and just lay the steps on them. So we end up with seven steps. We put them a foot apart. We mark it down. I don't know if you can see the marks or not. Mark it one foot increments for the steps. We just put a little level on here, level them up once we mock it up. And bolt it all together. Then we've got it in three pieces. The steps, the base, and the blind. And then whenever we go, we just take a ratchet uh, belt, hold down ratchet belt, and uh, lay the blind up here on top of the stand base and fasten it down when we get to the woods. Hammer and Josh get the the two by four step supports they get all both the the um we're using three inch drywall screws here we're using scrap anything else we can uh that we can find to use for the uh the step supports and then it's just a matter of getting it all assembled up and put together go ahead Josh lines up the mark right there, and then they put the level on it. Level it now that we got it mocked up. Hammer drives it in. Just like that. Step supports are in. Now we got a couple of them. We'll take a, take a 16 inch wide step and go ahead and bolt it onto the bottom, and then that'll solidify everything up. They'll pull them together, and then that'll hold the steps together. So now they can go with it. Put two screws in on each side, and it'll be there forever. Oh. Sorry, Chris.
it now. There you go. You got it. Last up. That kind of sucked. Uh, and that's it. Hey, there. Steps are done. These off the coal piles. See how warped they can be, guys. I'm gonna get Thomas to fasten this uh old this twisted two by six down there at the other side, and then I'm gonna take my old big C clamp here and put it on this bad boy. And we'll pull it down straight and let him bolt it down. You, you already got the other side fastened, homie? Yeah. Stuff is all twisted and torqued up, but it's treated so it'll last virtually forever. You got enough room to shoot one right next to it there, don't you? And I can take that thing out of the way. Had to catch it on that end so we could pull it down, but that's gonna hold it. All right, that, that should hold it. Yep. There you go. <sighs> it's hot out here, guys. It's August in South Carolina, so it's hot. You guys, if you don't already have a ready-made top, or what we were using were those old 500-gallon paint cages that um, my brother-in-law, TJ, could get his hands on where he worked. And... Uh, we had a bunch of them. We don't have access to them much anymore. But this is four by five, four foot by five foot on this particular stand. And we just took scrap. Uh, usually we use decking board if they have it at the scrap lumber yard, but they didn't have any decking board. It was all two bys. What that means, that makes this rascal a good bit heavier using the two bys on it. But uh, we, we use old, um, computer chairs desk desk chairs that rotate they have wheels on them and so we need this thing close enough the boards close enough together where the wheels won't actually fall through it but the dimensions are four foot by five foot we just use two by fours here to just build because uh, all this does is hold this right here this is an allen camo netting i'm not really sure of the exact dimensions they're 12 to 14 dollars from walmart or uh, academy sports and it will cover this stand from the back pole all the way around the front to the back pole there and the back we just cover with another tarp or just another piece of netting or something like that to go across the back if we're not backed up right against something like the live oak or something like that that we got it backed up right against so you wouldn't really need anything to cover you on the back side anyway but if you don't like i said if you don't have the cage you can get a real good idea of how we threw this thing together. And then uh, we get the old, get an old computer chair and we put the netting around it. And I'll show you what it looks like whenever we get him in place. And uh, at the farm, guys. Where you been?
one of the farm cats. Call him Boots. Obviously, why? I think he's our squirrel catcher. Found a half a squirrel in the yard the other day, and he's probably the culprit. His b brother, Bear, he's the vole and mice catcher. Go get them, Boots. All right. Here we are at the... We call this the sand hill. And uh, the old stand is down the hill over there. You may be able to see it. Let me see if I can, I can see it so I may be able to zoom up on it. It's a ladder stand over there. There it is right there. It's over there, oh, about 100 yards. We're 100 yards into the woods from the road. The, the, bait, the old bait station is right over there. You see where the hardwoods and the uh, tall pines and the small ones meet the road is right there. That's where the old feed station was going to be. The new one is going to be over the top of the hill right up there. That's where we're going to put the new mineral and feed station right there. That's where all the deer are coming, all those bucks and all that are coming right over the top of the hill. That's where the run is right there. So we're going to have about a 50, 60 yard shot to that. But me and the girls have got to get the stand put up here in the new spot. Stand by. This side, bump it, uh, push it around if you can, honey. And I need to push it up some. All right, push it to me as I pick it up. How high do you want them to go? Because you're higher than the other All side. All right, hold on right there. Hold it right there. That's it. She's fast. And it being the top step, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna shoot an extra one or two in there. The Stinging already, nettles are everywhere. The ones that I'd already broke. I picked them up with my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Next we'll wrap the cape around it. How's the view, baby? Can you see the road? To the left, over there where the other feed station is. Can yes. you see where the little oak trees are? Mm -hmm. The feed, the other block is right there between them. Can you see it? What we'll do is see that was the lane we'll just cut out between these trees right here we'll just snip those down so you can see the station there at the road it should be perfect for that rachel getting the getting the blind secured we'll bring a piece to cover the back next week we come back over here I got to get a bucket of corn, babe. Carry the, the corn around the 55-gallon drum here in the back of the truck. Makes life a little bit easier. like now a year later we didn't get enough rain for even the bushes to stay alive out here now yes deer have found it i had uh had three big old nannies i had gotten some fuzzy pictures of yeah they've uh they've uh, upended the salt block great day they've been digging i see hoof digs and but they've been digging all in the uh, in the salt block right here, baby. You see, there's there's my stand right there, 200 yards. Two hundred yards over there. That's where I see it. And the deer come out over here on the Benson side. Are these big tall pines here? They bed back in yonder. And there it is, folks. Uh, this is. We're over here on the wood line side. See where the old stand was there. 
the new one is just starting to hit the shade now. See them right there? That's the one that we finished up and brought out here Saturday. And that's the new stand we'll be sitting in for this feed station. There's the camera right here. All right, Rachel, dump the corn out, honey. All around that block. There you go. Very good.